Hello, today let's solve this problem. I will show you a shortcut to solve it. Actually, this is a general method, and finally, I will derive a generating function. You can use this generating function to create your own puzzles on the infinite nested square root. So keep watching to the end, and let's get started. First, we define the function fn equals n. We know n square can be written into this form. Then we take the square root on both sides. Now we plug in to replace n. And we got here. From here we know fn plus 1 equals n plus 1. So we plug in to replace n plus 1. Note here, this recurrence equation is the key, and we will use it many times. Now we replace n by n plus 1. And we got here. Then we plug in to replace fn plus 1. So we got here. Next, we replace n by n plus 2. And we got here. Plug in to replace fn plus 2. And we got here. I copy them here. Next, we replace n by n plus 3. So we got here. Plug in to replace fn plus 3. And we got here. So we can keep going to play this trick. I copy them here. Now if we compare the coefficients, we can easily see this expression equals f3. From here, we got f3 equals 3. So we are done for this problem. In the next slide, I will show how to design your own puzzles. Because we have derived this generating function, we just plug in values for n, then we can create different puzzles. Plug in n equals 2, then we got this one. Since we have done for n equals 3, so we set n equals 4 here. And also n equals 5. Or we can set n equals 100. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a like.